Pushed off by Bacheri. Roby down the left-hand side. Theo Farge, wide to go to Jordan Turner. This man Inu gets the tackle in on him. Last one coming up here. Spedding was a dummy half. Theo Farge looping pass into the arms of Walsh. Walsh is looking for someone to climb high. And that man climbing high is Louis McCarthy. Roby to Farge. Looking for the runners. It's Savelio. He finds Turner. Turner then gets it wide to Spedding. And he has got some pace on him. That's a great ball inside to Savelio. And even better to Shannon McDonald. Oh, and Richie Myler somehow got two. So that's two from Tarsi, two from Amor. Roby. Goes left this time to Walsh. Walsh then finds Farge. Farge to Wilkin. Good ball from him to McDonald. This is Turner. Gets it wide to Spedding. Not that good ball from him. That's a great try. That's a tremendous. Shannon McDonald tips it back in and was allowed to regather. And the defensive attitude you talk about, Phil, I think it's personified. But, but maybe it was against Old KSI side, missing some of their best players. St. Helens are still missing one or two, but it's a strong St. Helens outfit. And yet they've been well outplayed here by the French opponents. Eddie, I think where they've been good, the exit sets Catalan. Action into the <laughs> Catalan Dragons, being rewarded at the moment. But I guess it depends just when you meet your opponents in this competition. If you think back to round two, Eddie, the Catalan Dragons were hammered at home by Hull, 38-10. So, you know, not every team plays at its best all through the season, riding through the highs and the lows of the challenge for every side at the moment.